Hey Libra, welcome to Hype Man Tarot. My name's Alvin, if you don't know that already. And this is your, it's gonna be one of many, a love reading for Libra for the month of November. Um, let's, uh, yeah, so if you're watching this on Instagram, you're only gonna see the first 15 minutes. And then, so there's a link in my bio where you can go and see the rest of the video. Please like, share, comment subscribe trying to build up my YouTube uh, share it with people share it with others uh, I hope to do more readings this is just one small like you know 20 minute video um, re uh, reading on your uh, on a love situation that might happen in the month of November take it as it resonates and check out my uh, this reader that I love to watch her name is the woke therapist this is her merchandise She's a therapist and a reader. She's like very philosophical and like metaphorical, like it's awesome, uh, spiritual AF. So that's the sweater that I'm wearing. The Woke Therapist on YouTube. Excuse me. And I am open, I, I do have personal readings available. They're $50 for an hour personal reading. Uh, video FaceTime, if you're in New York, we can do it live. We can do it in person. I also have $25 um, one question readings as well. We just don't go that in depth, but $50 personal readings. If you're open for that, email me, DM me, however you're watching this, you'll find my contact information in the descriptions somewhere. Um, let's talk some astrology, the little astrology that I know. Um, you, <laughs> you're cashing in, Libra. You have done well this month for November. You have reached a point of comfort in the sense of income. You now feel like you won't struggle with income anymore. Um, Libras are always very powerful in that sense. You are good. You're solid. People are now going to start being on your team. Um, you know, helping you out of the woodworks, like helping you level up to the next level. You're ready to take that next level step. Uh, some some people might not understand where you're coming from. They might, you have a lot of people that are on your team that shouldn't be. All right? And I say that in the sense that they're only there for them. They're not there for you. They could give a shit about you. You're actually benefiting them, but they're not benefiting you. Those are the ones you should have released on Halloween the 31st with the, with the, with the full moon. Full moons you release, release, right? So there's people that you should have released and you should release them before, you should definitely release them before the end of the month, but the new moon in Scorpio is on the 15th. New beginnings, new chapters will be there. So if you planted your seeds right and you got rid of what you need to get rid of, um, new shit will happen for you. All those those plans that you're gonna put in place, you're gonna about you're about to step into the next level. You're cashing in, you're cashing in and you're cashing out. Um, all positive, great vibes, energy, right? People are just gonna be like, what are you, why are you doing that? Because why it doesn't benefit them. It benefits you and it's something you wanted to do and it could be something you wanted to do for a very long time. I think it also has to do with something to do with Pluto. And you know, Pluto moves very, very slow, like 12 year spans. So there's something that you've wanted to do for a very long time that you're about to do. You're about to step, you're about to do that thing. Um, and people might not understand that. You need to do what you need to do for you because nobody else is going to take care of you but you take care of yourself for a long time anyway libras you always do uh so you have the new moon on the 15th mars goes direct in aries on the 14th yeah on the 14th which you're going to feel like a boss i told you the 14th the 15th it's like pff, everybody you're going to feel like a motherfucking boss right and then i don't want to go too deep into the month but on the 21st Venus, which rules relationships and, and, and marriage and such, goes into Scorpio. Now remember, we're in Scorpio season. It goes into Scorpio on the 21st. So love's gonna get intense. So you're gonna have it all, plus some, some love situations might come, come into your life. This reading right now, this one we're doing, is a love reading. Let it be a sign, a warning, a clarification, an omen uh, uh, about a situation that might come up. Take what resonates, let the rest flow. I'm gonna pull three oracle cards from Shine from the Light Within, and then we'll pull some tarot about a situation or a person that's coming towards you or something something to do with love, ideally. 
and we'll see what happens. Good, I'm gonna do two more shuffles and then pull from the top. Lean man. Wow, two ice. That card is popular today. Ask for help. It doesn't make you weak. I bet you Libras don't like asking for help because you all just don't. Most of the time you don't, don't need it, but ask for help. It doesn't make you weak. Asking for help can also build partnerships. Asking for help can just can, can build a bond with somebody that you might need to build a bond with. And I say that because there's two people here and they're holding, they're, they're like, kind of like hugging and they're holding each other. Ask for It doesn't make you weak. Asking questions, like, you know, in, in a work situation, asking questions makes you a better person. Asking to be cross-trained in, in every department makes you even stronger. So asking for help doesn't make you weak. If anything, it makes you stronger. It builds relationships, it builds bonds, because now you can find it in somebody, in something that you weren't too particular, familiar in, and now they feel like they're doing a piece of justice. Funny, because justice is your card. Uh, you know, something something right because they're giving you advice or they're helping you with a situation that you might not be able to, that you might be stuck in, right? Stay away from drama today. Oh. And she, this card's reminding me of like, they just stepped away. They went to a quiet place. They're in their Zen moment. Wow, I've been talking for six minutes already. They've been talking, they've been, they're in their Zen place. Um, step away, get, that, get out of drama for a minute. I bet you this month, you're pulling, I told you, you're pulling away from a lot of people, a lot of drama, and they're not going to understand why. I bet you there's something missing there. We're going to get to that. Treat yourself to something beautiful today, and it's a bouquet of flowers. All that hard work, like I said, you're about to level up, you're cashing in, treat yourself. Maybe that's the thing. You're used to like buying things for other people or you're used to pleasing other people. When Libras are in love, like they, they cater to their partner. When they're not in love, they, they, they cater to themselves. So you're about to cash in. So cater, buy yourself something nice. Um, take care of yourself. Treat yourself. This is definitely saying like, if you're stuck on something, ask for help. Ask for help so that you, your mind can be at ease, right? Step away from the drama and be at peace and then buy yourself something nice, like pat yourself on the back, you did it. Something that you've been wanting to do for 10, 12 plus years, you're about to step into the next zone. Congratulations. Let's pull some tarot. Messages we have for Libra, new beginnings, look at that. Leaving, leaving, leaving shady people. Allow the messages to come through clearly so that we can deliver a message for the sign of Libra for the month of November. Tower, change, new opportunity, new offer. Physically, a new venture, new offer being handed to you. Messages for Libra. Any messages for messages for Libra? Okay, Virgo got this card first too. Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight. This knight is on a journey. This knight is generous. Can be you or someone coming towards you. This could be you, but it's the slowest moving. There's still some inner works that need to be do, that needs to get. There's still some work that needs to be done, but this has been a slow moving person. You, them, they, he, she, gender's fluid here. That's, that, was, that's, that was on a journey. Knights are on a journey, journey to become a king. King or queen, queen of pentacles, stability. All right, this is definitely you here. You, you were on a very slow moving journey, like I said. Could have been like years in, in the works, right? And you were about to be solid as fuck. Stable, stability, you won't have to question finances anymore. Stability, domestic. Can be this can be someone that's coming in towards you. Towards Virgo Capricorn can be coming towards you. Towards Virgo Capricorn, because there's two pentacles here. And, uh, and why I say that's accomplishment, because four of wands. This is 
the marriage card, that they're having a wedding, if you can see that. There's two people underneath a chuppah, a four, four poles is considered a chuppah, it's a Jewish, you know, that's what the, 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 the Jewish people get married under, under four posts, four corners, and they call it a chuppah, but some people just call it an arch if it's just one, two poles. Anyway, if it's not a wedding, it's just a celebration. There's something to celebrate, there's some accomplishment to, to, to accomplish, uh, to have a celebration for. It'll be having a party or there will be just some form of like celebration. And I think it's this slow moving financial journey that you've been going on that is now solid. That's you. Tell me about a relationship. Is there anybody coming towards, who's coming towards Libra? Who's coming towards Libra? There's too many cards there. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Okay, this is. Oh, oh. The Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and Three of Cups. Can be a Taurus here, can be a Capricorn. Wow, didn't I just say that? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And here's your Taurus, and here is your Capricorn. <laughs> um, They're secure. They're, you're celebrating. This could be a friend. You could meet this person as a friend first. This is my friend card, Three of Cups. You're celebrating with friends. You're um, enjoying drinks and you're socializing with friends. Um, these people can be social. Okay. This can also be a learning lesson. Okay. There's a lot of things that I can. So there's always three meanings to a card, to a, a tarot card, an oracle card. There's the 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 interp the illustrators interpretation of the card you know they put in the book and this is what this card means then there's the reader him, myself me like, and as i'm reading what i'm interpreting the card to be and then my personal intuition and i literally think that it's that it's a taurus because this is a taurus card and a capricorn right but this also can be this is a learning lesson this is a higher power this is a spiritual person that can be a leader that can be a someone that you look up to a mentor right um spiritual leader, a professor, someone that you it could be physically learning. This also can mean like you're going back to school and learning something or they can be in, in education. Um, then we have the devil. The devil is a partner card with the lover's card, which is a Gemini card because the lovers are chained to the devil. And this card talks about toxicity and codependency and toxic relationships. And uh, let this just be a warning that if you find yourself in a toxic relationship or a codependent relationship, like you're probably used to, um, it's probably not a right fit. You should have learned your lesson, lessons learned from something from the past. This is lessons learned, learning something physically, learning something like a book, but like learning from your past codependent relationships that were toxic, okay? If there's no sense of security, this is security. This is you securing your finances. This could be them also being very secure. This could be confirmation that they are secure. If there's not security there, then it's probably not meant to be. If you're not having fun and you're not socializing and it's not in a friendly environment and it's probably not the right manner, right person that I'm talking about. Because what I'm talking about here is a Taurus or, or Capricorn that is secure and you're having fun with. Let me get some more cards here. Ace of Swords. There we go. Ace of Swords. Sharp, clear, you know this person's, the, you know these people or this person is the one. You are sharp, it is crystal clear in your mind, you know what you want, you are, it's like, it's clarity. It's sharp-minded and like you'll have a breakthrough. Like, oh my God, this person's it. Like, you just know, you just know. We all get those moments like when you just know someone's gonna be like change life. Can be a Taurus, can be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Can be a learning lesson. Don't get in another fucking toxic relationship. The world, completion. Like you have now fulfilled, you've fulfilled a lot. Um, fulfillment, completion, and harmony. That's literally what the interpretation of this card is. And what I see here is like, you will feel, you will just know that it's sharp. Like this person is just meant to be. Like, you know, you, they could have Gemini in their chart because I just spoke about Gemini here. You just, you just know. You just will. You'll feel complete. 
you'll know like, oh my God, this is them. Possibly be a wedding taking place. I can't necessarily say that's, that's gonna be the case, but there definitely is some celebration. You were a slow moving, slow moving financial progression here that has, has hit its cashing out moment. And I said that in the beginning, you're cashing out. It's crazy how that was spirit. I'm gonna shuffle and then pull through from the top. Um, and that's how the cards came out. Like, my Island Wellness deck, or bottom of the deck, engagement ring. Um, so we have boat. Receive what you need. Progression is arriving. Move on. If there's anything that needs to be closed, close it out. Close, close any issues, right? That's what the boat means. What do you do when you get in a boat and the boat sails away? Get on the boat, sail to calmer waters. Close out what you need to close out and let the boat ride. I think it's time for you to advance, level up. Allow the love to come in. You're financially secure, you did what you had to do now. Allow it to come in. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Let that be a warning. Maybe you've been through a lot of things where you were stabbed in the back, heartbreak and pain, and it's in the same line as the devil, which is where deception and, and, and toxic relationships come into play. Right. Let that be a warning for you. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you there. I don't really have much to say. It's just like literally like just you've been stabbed in the back and now it's your time to to be happy, to be fulfilled. Seduction, this, this sounds about right for Libras. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. Be careful with third party interference. But seduction, if it's not sexy and seduction, then it's probably not meant to be. Like if it's not sexy and feisty and you don't feel fulfilled out of it, maybe it's not meant to be. Wow, look, bottom of this deck, as I'm holding in my hand, is the tower. Definitely change is coming. What, what, what goes up must come down. So if you built something out of fear, it's going to come down. If you built something out of false authentic, authenticity, it's going to come down. You know, so there's something here that was brought down and now you're giving an opportunity to rebuild, which I think you've been doing. You built it the way you want to build it. And... Watch out for people that might stab you in the back. But as long as everything is built on authenticity of your true self, it will rise. But everything that goes up must come down. Intentions are key. Again, set good intentions from the full moon on the 31st to the new moon on the 15th. I say do nothing but good for the next fucking 15 days. I promise you, like, then it'll be good. You give in to temptation, you give in to your toxic habits. You release things and then you pick it back up within those 15 days. You're just, you're going to dig yourself into a bigger hole. I promise that you won't be able to get out of. And then I don't really know where Uranus is somewhere. And then Pluto, I don't really remember where Pluto is, but you don't want to fuck with Pluto because that does not come around often. It, it will fuck you up for years. Um, let's. There's no healing that needs to happen here. Let's clarify. You want me, I'll clarify the Hierophant and the devil and the world. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Let's clarify the Hierophant. Tell me about this Taurus. Tell me about this Taurus. Ooh. Judgment. Awakening. What will happen will happen. It was meant to be this 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 Taurus is woke. They woke the fuck up. This spirit, this um the woke therapist, woke therapist, get it? She talks about this card, judgment card is about an awakening, like an aha moment. Up aha. So this person can be woke. They can they they can come into your life and wake you the fuck up. They might ring a bell. This person, oh my gosh, this person can be a mentor. It doesn't have to be a love relationship actually here. This could be someone that's of 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 age that is of a 
higher caliber than you. They are, you know, more, they're more advanced. They're a mentor and they're about to give you some wisdom. It's funny. I just saw something like someone's going to be, it was for a different sign, but they said that there's going to be a mentor that's going to come to you and they're going to say something to you that's going to trigger you. But what they're going to trigger is an awakening for you. And that's literally a mentor and, a tr and, and an awakening. Like that's literally what that says right there, right? Tell me about this devil. Tell me about this Capricorn. Pause and surrender. All right. So now if this devil, this is definitely going to be, if you find yourself with somebody that is from, that is like, that is like the past, a toxic form of relationship, a codependent, you need to pause and surrender. Pause. Uh, and I'm not getting like give in and go with them. Pause. Take a step back. That's not the right person. Okay. This is talks about codependency that talks about toxic relationships if that comes into your life you need to take a pause do not step forward don't take a step forward you're gonna get you're gonna get stabbed in the back and I'm, I'm, I'm literally seeing here like this is the card after it which is four pentacles which is security I almost feel like if you let this toxic codependent person into your life they're gonna steal your security they're gonna steal. That's what I'm literally getting. Like they're looking at, like see how? Look at his face. It's like serious, right? Because he's holding onto his money because someone's about to fucking come and take it. It's like you let some dumb nigga into your life again, and you were stabbed in the back. It's literally the whole row. Like oof, wow. Okay, that that's definitely the message that came across there. Let's clarify this world. Oof. Ten of Ten of Pentacles. Ultimate abundance. You have you're financially set. You will know that this person that this will fulfill you. You will be fulfilled. You will be financially set. Um, you will have a sense of completion. This is an amazing reading, I'm not gonna lie. There is a lot of completion here a lot of stability a lot of structure which is amazing get on that motherfucking boat and go enjoy it take it um, treat yourself to something nice stay away from drama and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it just because you are successful and stable does not mean that you know everything don't be that guy don't be that girl Stay humble. And don't forget everything that goes up must come down as long as your intentions are set in the right place. I hope this message resonates with you, Libra. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.